But what do you know, Kelso? We're out of beer. You know what? Foreman's old man's got a fridge in the garage, and I know he's got beer in it. Remind me to kick your ass. Uh, hey, Red, um, uh, is Foreman around? Well, he sure as hell is not inside that fridge. <laughs> Mr. Finciotti, you're home. Yes. Good. Yeah. Yeah, came back early. Yeah, miss the kids too much. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I was just coming home from work, and I noticed that someone left your porch light on. Can't even see that from your house. Good eye. Thank you. <laughs> you know, Eric, that's what I like about you. I asked you to look out for Donna, and here you are in the middle of the night hanging around the back door doing your job. <laughs> You're a good guy, Eric. I don't care what they say about you. <laughs> ha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, good night now. Okay, well, I was just gonna... Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> good night, then. Good night, Eric. Dad? Eric? Dad? I'm quitting my job. You're quitting? Yeah. I'm quitting. I'm irresponsible, I'm a quitter, and I couldn't kill a cow with a hammer. So what do you say to that? Well, everybody quits their first job, Eric. That's no big deal. What? That's it? Well, I gotta say that. I'm a little disappointed here. I mean, it wasn't a... Um... Man's job, Red. anyway. Well, come on, Kitty. It was a hairnet, name tag, nothing kind of a job. Well, that's more like it. <laughs> Just as well. It was cutting into your chores, anyway. You did a half-assed job sweeping a driveway. I thought he did a wonderful job. Didn't look wonderful to me. Oh. Okay, then. Sweep it yourself. 